hello so this is a bit of a different video for me today i'm experimenting and well i did a bit of experimenting and then i wanted to kind of show you how you could experiment and what i've been experimenting with is foiling onto shrink plastic so i've used that hot foil stamp which you can see is much bigger than what I've ended up with here. Bring up the camera, there we are. And I fold onto shrink plastic and then shrunk it. And you, you lose the shine from the foil, but you don't lose the colour. Now I've coloured the back of this shrink plastic using some alcohol markers and I've literally, literally just scribbled on the back before I shrunk it. Um, so what you do with, with putting colour on the back is a, a completely different topic. There's lots of videos all over YouTube on things you can do with shrink plastic and how you can colour it. I tried a couple of different methods. Um, this has just got all new water-based markers. Um, and, it, and it's fine as long as you don't get it wet. So they, they're kind of brush pens. Um, and then on some of these I've put embossing powder on the back to do that. Okay, so, and I've used some Couture Creations cut foil and embossed dies to make these. So the car starts off that big. And the butterfly starts off that big. But you can die cut it with normal dies or you can just cut it with a paper trimmer or scissors. Um, these little plaques I did, I, I just I fold and then I, I cut with my mini guillotine and then I've used a corner rounding punch to uh, round off the corners. There's another one of those somewhere. Uh, there. I think I've just rounded the corners on that one. Let the camera to focus on it. There we go. And this one, I've used the same sentiment. Give me a second. That's it. So the, the sentiment doesn't show up quite so well on that. Um, it's a darker foil. Um, on the back I've used some glittery embossing powder. Um, a couple of coats of that and then some black embossing powder to finish it off. Um, and that's quite a nice effect. doesn't make it very readable. But as I say, how you colour it afterwards is not what this video is about. This is about the foiling um, and, and what you can do. So I'm going to start off with some basic foiling and die cutting just using normal hot foil stamps. So I've got here, sorry my camera's not focusing again, um, the Dahlia hot foil stamp. Um, this is one of the ones from Couture Creations Le Petit Jardin collection. And it's just this lovely kind of floral petal pattern so I'm going to foil with that and then cut it out of the flower die so let me put that on the go for some foil to warm up okay. and the, the go press is warm but that needs to to warm up and then I've I've just delved into my stash and found uh, a couple of different open frame flower dies because the shrink plastic shrinks so much you need kind of open frame dies um, and you, you can't cope with having anything that goes too thin because the, the plastic just gets too uh, brittle when it shrinks otherwise so while that's warming up let's have a look at a couple of the other ones I've done I've used from the lavish ballroom collection the cake okay and that's my dear little cake so let me get them those the same distance from the camera. You can see how much it shrinks. There you go. Uh, get them in shot. There you go. So that's how much it shrinks. You're probably thinking, well, why would I? Well, I've got a lovely little sentiment tag there. And that die, mm, well, it nearly feels the plate of the go press. It's twice the size of that one. And this is what I've used for the butterflies. So you can see they shrink down an awful lot. 
but the, the butterfly works particularly well. Even at the other side, so it gets light on it. Okay. Right, so let's let's get some foiling done. And the other thing I'd say is if you want a hole in them, so that you can sort of I've kind of wired some together, you might want to put a ribbon through, you must do that before you shrink it. So anyway. Now foils I found bright colours work best. Not strong colours. So I've got some lovely this is a pink foil, mirror finish, the Geo Creations foil. And the shrink plastic I've got is a completely clear one. Um, I mean, looked on, on YouTube, it also comes in like a, a, a matte version. Uh, sort of frosted and that that's apparently easier to colour on Oops. just try and get this rolled up properly there's my full and the shrink plastic, it, I bought it in A4 sheets. Um, and then I, I, I've just used my paper trimmer to, to cut it down to some manageable pieces. So, um, what am I looking for? It's on there. That, yeah, that'll, that'll be big enough. Okay, so let me get the GoPress out plate over. Check that my foil size. I don't want it too much too big. Uh, yeah, just trim a bit off, I think. Right, so I'm just going to put my foil on here. I'll just about see where to put my. plastic and then I want some shims I probably want I'll go for the three shims because it is really thin okay that should be hot enough so I'm just going to roll that through The other thing I've found with this is that if your foiling doesn't come out perfect, it doesn't really matter because when it shrinks, the imperfections shrink as well. Now I think I need to just add a bit more heat and roll that again. The other thing is with being clear, you can actually see whether or not it's foiled. So let me just let that warm up and then I'll roll it again. So bear with me. Okay, so let's see how it looks now. If I if I look at that, I can actually see where it reacted with the foil, and I think that will be fine. So I'm gonna whoops, take that off. There we are. Let's get my foil off. I don't know why that sometimes happens. It's sort of a static effect. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off of here. Um, and get my GoPress and foil ready to use the cut and emboss die. So bear with me. Okay, so I foiled this, and I'm going to use I say just one of my flower dies, and I'm going to die cut it. Uh, I'm going to take my die down. Now it's one of those things that. Um, I found when I die cut this, and I put some I just die cut earlier, and you can see it it's not sitting flat. So 
if you die cut first and then you try and fall, you actually have trouble getting you, this to sit still on the hot foil stamp with the foil to actually foil it. So much better to, to foil and then do any, any die cutting that you need to do. Let me just stick this down. A couple of bits of tape. Okay, I'm going to go and die cut that. But while I'm waiting, let's put one of these cup full and embossed guys. The car's quite good fun. Let's put that on to be warming up. That is. So I've got a glass mat here. This could be my, my crafting mat, but it's actually a place mat. I've got a cork mat underneath it because this really does get very hot. Um, so I'm working on heat proof surfaces. So I'm going to heat this gently. I'm going to be wafting my my heat tool to try and heat it evenly uh, and it'll get so far and then I, if, I'll need to flip it over and heat it from the other side so it flattens out. So here goes. shrunk but it started to go so I'm, I'm kind of pulling back with my heat gun and moving it around to try and get it to shrink evenly and they do try and escape quite Quite often at that point, it's a good idea to turn them over. So let me do that. Just using my pokey tool to try and keep it still. Oh. Got mine of his own, this one. Fight just as you think it's a complete disaster and it's all curled up and stuck to itself it will suddenly kind of flatten itself out again I'm just going to turn this over and hit from the other side shrinking and I've got a couple of leaves there that they got a little bit stuck but then I'm gonna just bring in my a silicon mat and pop it onto that so that as I heat it I can just kind of shape the petals upwards I'm going to heat it first and just be, be ready to kind of curl this in. Try and keep this where you can see it as well. See if I go down around that way. sides up. It's soft enough now for the petals to come in. Do bear in mind you're working with very hot things and don't put your fingers kind of underneath in the area that's very hot. Now 
I'm just going to keep bringing that in as it's cooling. A bit lopsided. I'm just gonna put another blast. Okay, and then I'm gonna let that cool down. Okay, so that's just foiled and die cut. And when it's cool, I'm going to give the, the foil a bit of a buff with some, some dry kitchen paper. But for now, let's go back to my crafting table and we can do one of the cut and forward, cut foil and emboss dies. Okay, so I'm back at my crafting table. don't know if you remember, but we put on the GoPro some foil. You can't, you can't see it from there. We've got a nice car cut foil and emboss die that's been warming up there. Um, and I'm going to use... Um, so gold foil for this. Or shall I? Now hang on, I've got some blue. Bear with me. Got a nice dark blue foil. I think that'll, that'll work better for the car. Just put the gold away a minute. In case it tries to escape. of my shrink plastic right. I'll out what bits I've got on what sizes they are One of those bits, I think okay so I'll foil on sliding okay that's fine okay that will need to warm up a bit more um, so I'm gonna warm that up and run it through my die cutting machine and then show you what we get so bear with me okay let's see how that's turned out i might need a cartoon as well let's have a look let's cut it don't think it's folded very well So I'm going to do that again and I'm going to put a card shim in to help push the shrink plastic into the die. So I'm, let me set up that again and have another go. Okay, so I've just brought my die back up to, to temperature and I've cut some more foil. I'm just going to put my foil on. Another piece of shrink plastic. Did say this was experiments, didn't I? And then, oh, I need a bigger piece. Okay, I'll just keep a packet of kind of spare off cuts of card. Or a piece of craft card or something. That you got from foiling on the back, but 
it's not enough of it to use so I always keep those oddments for this kind of thing okay so make sure that's at temperature and I'll roll it through again bear with me right let's see how it's worked this time so it's cut through my my piece of scrap card here let me slide that off okay Put the go for some foil back on to stay warm poking out the windows yeah sometimes you just need to wriggle things a bit with the shrink plastic just to get those, those fine bits of die cut out okay so you can, you can see how that's curled when I've die cut it so that's why you you, you know you, you need to be foiling and die cutting at the same time or foiling and then die cutting afterwards okay so there's my car so we can go and shrink that and then I want to do a sentiment as well to show you so I'm gonna reconfigure the go press and then we're going to shrink the car So for the sentiment, I'm going back just to hot foiling. So I'm just going to get my metal plate off. And here's my sentiment. And I'm not position, positioning it because I'm going to die cut afterwards. So maybe I'll just put that in the middle there. Okay, let's go back to the kitchen. Okay, so here I am back in the kitchen. So the flour's now cooled down, and I'm going to very carefully give the, the, the petals a buff with some kitchen paper. And I say carefully because obviously I've curled them, and if I'm too rough, I'm, I'll break them off. So I'm just going to give that a rough. And some colour kind of comes off on the kitchen paper, but it kind of brings the, the shine back to the flour. Let me get the camera to focus. There we are. So there's our little flower. Where's the dice? And that, that was its original size. Okay, so let's do this car. So again, with my pokey tool and being very aware that things are getting very hot, so I'm on a heat proof surface, I've got a pokey tool with an insulated handle. So not all pokey tools have an insulated handle, so be mindful of what you're using. So you might actually let me try it. Might be better with a, a wooden skewer with a nice long handle on it. So let's let's do that. over do it from the other side I've forgotten to get something now for this I'm going to want it flat at the end so I'm just going to grab an acrylic stamping block that I can use to flatten it at the end acrylic block or something flat
Okay, so I needed that ready at the end there. So that as soon as I had finished shrinking, I could flatten it. I have found it best to have the four side down on the glass. Um, that's the first one I tried. Um, the foil stuck to my acrylic block. It was that hot. It actually transferred the foil. So then I can just get that to move. It is quite warm still. There. Okay, so I'm going handle it. Yeah, it's not too bad. So I'm just going to, as you can see, let me get the camera to focus on it. That's it, being that sharp focus. So it's gone kind of dull, so I'm going to give it a polish. Look, the kind of colour comes off. I think it, I don't know if it maybe oxidises the foil. Oops. Yeah, that's hot. It's, it's my glass mat that's hot rather than the plastic. see nice solid color and if I want to I can color on on further on the back and that color is on the, on the front and is there to stay okay so let's go and do our sentiment okay so I'm back at my craft desk I think I'm gonna try that one so this is an iridescent blue-green. Not tried foiling on, on to shrink plastic with it before. So let's hope it works. So under here, I've got a die to die cut this, so I need to make sure I get this kind of in, in, the, in the right place to be able to die cut it. Yeah, look that piece. So, so this really is just normal foil. It happens to be on this piece of clear shrimp plastic. So the foil goes on. The foil hasn't gone on straight. That's better. Crimp plastic. And then yeah, that'll that'll that should be fine for me out of place the die. It's just sort of kind of in the middle there. So I'm not putting the die on at this stage, I just wanted to check that I had enough space around my sentiment. So there's my shims. Don't have to use big shims, use little ones. Okay, and that needs to be rolled through my die cutting machine. I've, I've found that a couple of times. And that looks like it's foiled. I can see through. If not, I could put my shims back in and go again. I don't know whether I will. Let's go for it. Okay. So there we are. Take that off of there. 
this out of the way. Mm, now that is a bit shabby. That's very shabby. That's 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 too shabby. So I'm going to need to do that again. I'm going to put another shim of card in when I do it. Okay, so bear with me. Okay, so let's see how this has come out this time. Oh, I've used four shims this time. And that I can see just from the back of it that that looks like it's completely boiled. There we are. Let me hold that up to the camera and get the camera to focus. So that's what you, you can see from the back. So you can see that before you've picked it up. And if you need to, you could add in more shims um, and roll again before you've moved it. Okay, so it feels well off. There we are, there we are, that's better. And a couple of extra bits of foil. Actually, I can just scrape those off with my nail. The size of it so I'm going to just use this kind of tag die to cut that out of my die cutting machine so I'm just going to go and do that and then come back um, and then I'm going to use a single hole punch to put a hole in in, in one corner so it, or in one end so I can actually use it um, kind of as a hanging embellishment or tie a ribbon on it or something so bear with me So I've die cut, it's fallen out the die, so here's my tag, so I'm going to put a hole in it before I shrink it, and it'll be quite a big hole because the hole shrinks as well. I have tried to open a hole with my pokey tool after I shrunk it and you can get it hot and you can, if you don't get it hot enough to get, get the pokey tool for it, but it, it distorts the plastic. So it's much better to do it now. So again, I've got some scraps of card and I'm going to put those underneath where I'm going to work and I'm on a self-healing mat. So I've got one of these twisty single hole punch tools. Um, you probably could use a paper hole punch if you just line it up very carefully, but I'm gonna go through there. gone through? No, I haven't gone all the way through. Let me line that up again. That's all he's gone through. I did this on my cork mat in the kitchen the other day. I've now got a lovely deep hole punched in my cork mat. So that's why I wanted the extra paper. So again, be aware of what, what you're using and, and what you've got underneath it. So back to the kitchen. Okay, so I've come back in my kitchen where I've got my, I'm on a heat proof worktop anyway, but I've got cork mat and then my, my glass place mat. I've got my silicone mat ready if I need it and I've got my acrylic stamping block ready to flatten it out at the end and I've got my wooden skewer to hold it still with. And I'm going to put that in the hole um, just so because if I put it anywhere else you'll probably see a mark where I've been holding. So here we go. Now I'm going to do it from the back.
Okay, so I've flattened it out at the end there. My hole is now very small. I might get a piece of embroidery silk or something through there. Okay, if you if it hasn't gone as flat as you wanted it at the end, you can heat it up again and um, and have another go. I think that is done so that just needs to cool down a little bit and then we'll have a look at what what we've done okay okay so back at my crafting table so let's show the camera to focus on this too close the trouble is it's transparent so let me just put something behind it Let me just put a piece of card behind it. That's it. And now the camera's focused on it. So, there you are. I haven't given that a polish yet, so let's give it a polish and see what happens. So now I've given it a polish, easy to see with a white cart behind it. So that's quite a, a pretty colour. So as I say, the strong coloured foils seem to work best. It's got that hole in it, so you attach it to a keyring or something like that. Um, maybe to a phone case or, or just, uh, put, as I say, put some pretty thread through it and, attach, and hang it on your card. So there we are. So... That obviously started off with the piece of foil. There we are. That was the, the foil. So you can see how much it shrunk. So it's just one of those things. I, I wondered, oh, could you? And I thought, yes, you can. So there's my, my flower. I'll get the camera to focus a bit better. There we are. So my, my little shaped flower. And buried somewhere under here, yeah, yeah, there's the car. So they're just neat little embellishments. Be great on a, on a child's car or wedding car, wedding card. Um, just a bit of fun, really. Okay, thanks for watching.